majority of men are angry. Men don't have a room to engage issues facing them. I was once a perpetrator. I met at his wife and two kids and buried them. They slaughtered the wife and buried them there. One grew up in a household uh, where we witnessed first-hand experience of gender-based violence. Silently, we'll stop TBV in South Africa without killing anyone. This has been the most remarkable experience. Uh, many of the guys are saying it's history in the making. We had men from all 52 districts from South Africa converge on this campsite at Takwasa. And the goal was to equip and empower these men to go back into their districts, into their structures. All of them are leaders of some sort of other, mostly in civic organizations, but many linked to government. And the idea is for them to be equipped with the tools to go back into their communities, back into their structures, back into their families, back into the entire district, and take the message of no excuse, of father and nation. What we're really trying to do here is equip men with the ability and the tools to combat gender-based violence in this country. Uh, one of the stated goals here was we want to end gender-based violence in our generation in South Africa. And this group of men has been a remarkably powerful time. Much spirit, much energy, much passion, much outpouring of hearts. There have been tears, there have been hugs, there have been connections. And all of these men go back and some of them have traveled for, for many, many hours to be here and are traveling many, many hours to be back. But they're taking this flame back to their communities, this flame of saying, we as men will not tolerate gender-based violence. We as men will be good men, will be good fathers, will be good uh, partners, will be good husbands, will be good citizens, will be good community members. And we're just so excited. And the partnership with the SANAC, South African National AIDS Council, the partnership with Takawani Reime has been absolutely remarkable. And it just shows that uh, we're not silos. We cannot do this alone. None, none of us can do this alone. But operating together with these three organizations and many more to come, uh, and government getting involved, we will change this nation. And we've made a very, very good start today. What we want to see here, we want to see um, a free, violent society. And we are very much sure that Amajita now, uh, in the next few years, none of us here uh, will appear in courts for wrong reasons. So that is why this type of education is very important, um, where Amajida are talking to each other, because Amajida now are gaining uh, skills even on how to negotiate certain things, rather than um, using violence as a way of dealing with issues. So this was truly a historic event. As, as far as we know, I think in the country, it was the first time where all 52 districts were represented by men who convened in one area. And the energy was truly astonishing. You could feel the sense of brotherhood. You could feel the camaraderie. And really, you know, the band of men who are taking this movement forward, you know, as brothers, ensuring that we leave no one behind. We're moving together as men of South Africa in transforming this nation and ensuring that as men we can be held accountable and we can stand to demonstrate our contribution to the development of this country. How many of you guys want to be a man that leaves a legacy? A man that makes a difference? A man that says on my watch women and children and brothers are safe? Huh? The only way that we can become great men is to use your strength for good. What do you do with your words, your physical strength, your time, your power, your energy? What do you do? Do you use that to lift up? Down. We do have a crisis of masculinity in this country. A South African man is the most dangerous man for a woman in the whole world. 
we are not here to talk about women, we are here to talk about our behavior. And I think if we can continue to, to mobilize ourselves, then we'll achieve this campaign against uh, GBV in the country. So that's what I'm saying, guys, unless we realize the danger or the, 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 the damage we do to our children through this brokenness of broken relationships, we, we will not do any different because we're just in this bubble. At the end of the day, you are raising a broken child who's a bomb that will explode one day unless you do something different. Let's fight for our children's hearts, irrespective of the brokenness around. Let's fight for the next generation. Because that is where the future is to solve gender-based violence. We learned even during the yesterday's camp that majority of men have bottled things over the years. Some things may have occurred during their childhood times that now influence them as they grow. Some have experienced, uh, whether it's physical abuse or whether it's, it's, it's molestation or anything of that sort, but such things because they had not been enough platforms for, for men to voice out their grievances and so forth. As a result, they, 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 they've bottled this anger inside of them and, 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 and such things are becoming a trigger. Gender-based violence in South Africa, it can be stopped if only men can have a room to discuss about issues. It's very rare, Uguti, you get a man sitting in a, a sitting shabin discussing issues that face them. We, we only got that for entertainment, but not for engaging our issues. As men, saying I love you to your friend, it always sounds strange. But it's something that you should say each and every day. Hey man, I love you. I love you so much. Yeah, I love you too. Yeah, I love you. Imagine someone saying that to you. Not your wife, not your girlfriend, but a man. After a minute, your heart starts saying, ah, there's something nice happening here. You're like, hey, Someone appreciates me. Someone is saying, oh, he sees me somewhere. Everything in life needs team building. And if, as a man, you accept another man to stand in your forefront and guide you, it's easier for you to become a better person. It made us to realize that as men, we are having common challenges. And when we group each other, when we share these ideas, as, as part of us growing up, we can make a better nation. If one works and holds hands with their fellow brothers, there is nothing that we cannot conquer. The next person close to you can support you through the challenges that you might have. The person next to you can show you that that particular person loves you, but you are unaware because now you are putting yourself astray. We need each other for us to survive for us to protect those who will be our generation of we, we did your mountain climbing, we, we did your spider webs, we, we did plenty of games. That gives you a challenging into a critical thinking. I was frightened thinking about now it's my time to die. I personally have always had a fear of heights and for me to climb to such heights and not only to climb, but to descend even from there, using the rope descendants, uh, was, was, was one of the, 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 the fear conquerences one has done. When I look at you guys this morning, I must say the tears come in my eyes because I see men of heart, men of courage, men of bravery, men of intellect, eh? men who are passionate to make a difference, to make a change, and it's beautiful, man. My, my heart has been deeply touched this weekend. When I look into your eyes, I see brothers, and I see brothers of power, of integrity, passion, many can change the world. Do you see that? Yeah. When you look around them. Yeah. I, I see myself being a loving and caring father to my children and to my wife. I see myself building another man, growing my boy children to be best boyfriends, best fathers, because we are seeing that when we don't grow ourselves, we don't change ourselves, we will fail to change our children will fail to change the other person. That's why my kids already, they, they never saw me hitting my wife, nor be able to be abusive to her. I want to be a change in our communities. A man is meant to protect. A man is meant to provide. A man is meant to be there. But it's a man. 
Yeah. A man is a problem solver. A man is a seat giver. A man is a protector. Oh. We want to be part of uh, uh, nation building. And as a result, one has then joined into the men's sector uh, to advocate for such uh, in ensuring that women live a free and, and, and happy life without being fear of their male counterparts, without uh, seeing them as abusive. So now I'm well equipped and I'm so happy because I've shared this experience. I'm now a changed man. <laughs>